Today, I'm house hunting in and around the beautiful Mahaca area on Spain's Costa de Almeria. Famed for its traditional whitewash village nestled in the foothills of the Sierra Cabrera mountain range, it also boasts a modern beachside resort stretching over 10 miles. It's a paradise for culture vultures and sun worshippers alike. I'm Laura Hamilton and for the past 12 years I've been buying, renovating and selling property with a fair bit of success. Over the last four years I've been helping people to find their dream homes both in the UK and overseas. We've been checking up on the property market in popular winter sun destinations around the world, hunting high and low for the most incredible properties at fantastic prices. This time I'm in Spain, where property prices have finally gone up for the first time in eight years. But as you'll see, every destination is different. One thing they all have in common though, is if you know where to look and how to look, you can still find great bargains. Stick with us and find out how. Today's house hunters are London-based couple Raina Sodi and her partner Donna Carty, who have been together for over four and a half years. They're looking for a two-bed property with a large terrace that's within walking distance to the beach and the local amenities. 52-year-old career woman Raina is a chief executive looking to take life a little easier with her 49-year-old partner Donna, an equality and diversity trainer. So Raina's decided to invest in a place they can escape the British winters. What I love about Spain is the minute you get off the plane, you just feel the sun soaking in, you just feel amazing. I'm imagining just being able to relax, walking on the beach, cycling. I suppose just a much greater level of ease in my life. Margarita cocktail connoisseur Reina has previously viewed properties in southern Spain, but hasn't found her dream home. Raina's from a close-knit family and she wants her younger sister Seema to use the Spanish property as a base where she can further her career. My sister Seema is absolutely passionate about horses. Over the last three or four years has now really developed her skills around equine therapy. She's left a job to actually take that up full time. Raina has a budget of £120,000. She wants to buy somewhere close to the beach that will offer an outdoor lifestyle they can all enjoy. I feel the right time is now because I've been thinking about it so long. I just need to get on and do it, and I really, really want to. Raina and Donna want to house hunt in and around Mahaka. It's somewhere they've never been to before, but comes highly recommended by close friends. The area covers 28 square miles of picturesque mountains, plains and coastline. Raina, who struggles with British winters, loves the idea of the annual 20 degree average temperature and 3,000 hours of sunshine twice that of her current home in London. Donna loves photography and enjoys snapping sunrises and sunsets. She dreams of living by the sea and would have four blue flag beaches to explore along this coast. There really is something for everyone in the Mahaka area, which is less than an hour's drive from Almeria Airport. And it's no surprise foreign investors are flocking back in search of bargains. This area, like much of Spain, has seen property prices slash since the economic crash of 2007. On average, house prices nearer the coast have almost halved, but the real bargains are further inland, where the price of certain properties, like detached villas, have fallen by as much as 70%. I'm meeting up with local expert Elaine Midgley, who's seen the market peak as well as crash over the past 11 years. Do you think things have hit rock bottom here? The thinking is, and the people that I'm talking to, um, people seem to think we've reached the bottom, which is why we've, we're seeing a lot more buyers this year. Probably the, the numbers from last year have, have, have almost doubled. What do you think is going to happen going forward? Well, I'm hopeful that we're going to have some sustainability. Uh, we've had 10 very good months and there's some nice buying and selling. Vendors are being sensible about the property prices. Buyers are being realistic about what they can afford and, and the kind of offers they're making. So it's actually running quite nicely. I think the danger is that with the signs of improvement that the vendors perhaps will, will want to put prices up and that will obviously store the market again. What about um, when people come to making offers? How much can you go below the asking mm, price? Mm. Years ago it was very simple. I mean if you had a property for 100,000 you could ask five or ten thousand below. That was the standard. Since 2008 that's probably gone out of the window and people are asking 10, 20, 30, 40 percent. But that's actually changing more again now in this past year. The kind of offers that people can put forward, it's getting close to the asking price. So what are we talking, 5 percent below asking? 5, 10 percent. If you've got some money now, now's the time to do it. 
This bodes well for Rainer and Donna, who come armed with a budget of £120,000. I just need to find out exactly what it is they're looking for. Raina and Donna, welcome to Mahaka. Thank you. Thank you. Am I right in saying you've never been to this part of Spain before? That's right. Absolutely, yeah. So what do you think of it? The landscape is amazing and the, the desert look and the palm trees. Mountains. And so of course much. the sea. Yeah, great, and the sea. Yeah. yeah. How much time do you want to spend out here in Spain? I'm hoping we will be able to spend a chunk mm -hmm. of the winter, basically. And the other person who's sort of in the equation is my sister, Seema, and she mm. loves being abroad. She's going to come over um, and help us with the decisions and she's going to see our favourite houses yeah. and help, help us make that decision, so it'll be great. So who's actually buying the place? Me. <laughs> so I'm the yes. older sister, yes. so I get to buy the place, um, but it's for everyone to use. What would you like to see, property-wise, Donna? Character, um, some... Yeah, some traditional Spanish properties would be great. The most important thing for me is a roof terrace. Um, I love being outside. I have to have somewhere that is private for us. In terms of bedrooms, three would be absolutely ideal, but two would be OK. The thing that is really important is that it feels airy and spacious. I don't really cook. So I'm not really bothered about how big the kitchen is. Yeah, no, I'd like a reasonable kitchen. You, you're yeah, a I, I, like, <laughs> I like cooking when I get the chance. What about how far away you are from the beach or the amenities? Oh, a sea view, I yes. suppose, and being able to walk to the beach easily, I suppose, is, is the thing. And just having some nice cafes, areas that we can easily pop out of the yeah, house. And, coffee. Yeah, and go and just sit and chill out. Right, were well, you ready to start looking at property? We are. We are. The area of Mahaka consists of the Pueblo, an old town up in the hills, and the Playa, a coastal resort on the Mediterranean Sea, which is where I'm starting the search. Donna and Raina want to make the most of the outdoor lifestyles, so I brought them to an area called El Lance. It was one of the first places in Mahaka Playa to be developed back in the 1960s. It now boasts a diverse community consisting of Spanish, British, French, Dutch and German residents, some of whom can be found mingling at the local beach bar where they serve a mean margarita. So we're kicking off our search in El Lance. The property itself is about five, ten minute walk from this very beach. If it's five, ten minute walk, that's perfect in terms of the sea. The beach is lovely here and I even like the rocks and everything that around now I can sort of picture myself sitting and just reading yeah. um, on the rocks, so that would be great. I know you're a margarita connoisseur. Just a couple of minutes down there is a bar called Tito, and they apparently serve the best margaritas in town for £5.50. That's pretty good. That's How does that good. compare with London that's, prices? Uh, that's, that's very brilliant. good, because yes. the best margaritas in London that I've had are around £15, £18, so that's pretty good. Prices in our Lance range from around £50,000 for a one-bedroom ground floor apartment to up to £700,000 for a four-bed villa on a large plot with a swimming pool and sea views. But we found somewhere with equally great views in a small urbanisation of just 34 apartments that's on for a bargain price. So we've arrived at our first property. Here it is. Looks lovely from outside. I really like the flowers. This is, yeah, this is really pretty. Which is really pretty. And yeah. there's a great view of the mountains over there, which is lovely. What we have here is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom property. It's being sold by a British lady. She's selling it for £107,000. OK. OK. It's been on the market now for six months. Right. When she bought it eight years ago, she would have paid over double that at oh, around yeah. £222,000. Really? Oh, gosh. If it's good, then it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's head inside. This second floor apartment has spectacular views of both the sea and mountains. It also comes with access to communal gardens and an inviting swimming pool with service charges of £60 a month. Inside, the apartment has a compact but well-equipped kitchen, one bathroom, one shower room and an open-plan lounge diner with access to a terrace that has wonderful vistas. There are two double bedrooms, one bedroom has sea views and the other bedroom has pool views. The property's on the market well under budget for just over £107,000. Can we go? So, first room on the... Left is the kitchen. It's good, it's little, but it looks like it's got everything. A little bit more work surface might be good because I'm a bit messy when I cook. So here we are in your main living area. They've currently got it laid out. Dining space, 
lounge. I mean, it works, doesn't it, in this, yes. this way? Yes. And having that so close to the view yes. that we can see from here. This is very modern. It looks more like a holiday home, and I think what we want more is a home home. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it feels home from more home. home from home. home from yeah, home. exactly, home from home. Yeah. It is a holiday home. Oh, That's right. what it's being used for right. okay. at the moment. Okay. It has been rented out. I think one of the things coming here in the winter means that it's going to get darker earlier, so you'll probably spend more time indoors than you necessarily mm. would in the summer when you're going to be out all day and all evening. So I think the living area needs to be a living area that you feel that you could spend the whole evening in. It feels like we would want a little bit more room in the living area. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is amazing. That is amazing. The view is incredible. You, you, it just feels like you're on the sea and you would just sit here and hear the sea and the mountains over there as well, just the whole thing. This terrace is south-east facing. Right. So the sun will be rising over there and setting just oh, over wow. there. Great. Do you think you would be wanting to capture photographs of the sunrise, Donna? Yeah. That would be an amazing view of the sunrise if it's just over there. Go and have a look around the rest of the property. I'll see Thank you in a minute. You. Second bedroom. Nice view of the pool. The pool there. is amazing, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. the view back over the mountains. What do you think, size? Yeah, it's, I th it's a bit If small. it's a second bedroom, it's not too bad. If it's for Seema, I'm not sure that it would give her enough of a feel of her own space and enough space. Yeah. OK. This is slightly bigger. It's good because it's, not much, it's not much bigger. No. <laughs> True, it's not much bigger, but it's got the view. Look at the view yeah, of the yeah, that sea. That's just amazing. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it, in terms of size? Yeah. It's just, I think we need the third bedroom. Yeah. If we want the spare room to really not be a spare room because it's really sort of seamless. This is nice. Beautiful. It's a nice size pool, isn't it? It's, it's really great. lovely. Well, I think lots of people, if they came to stay, would really like, like having it. a pool. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I thought this, but I don't want it just as a holiday home. It needs to feel like we really want to come and live here yeah. and leave our stuff yeah. here and just come and, just and be. But I'm not ruling it out completely. No. I think, no, no. yeah, I think it's... No, it's the first one. And it's helpful to see it. Well, I think it's fair to say the views from this apartment have really impressed Rainer and Donna. However, I'm not sure the two-bedroom property that's on for just over £107,000 is going to be big enough. You've had a good look at the pool, you've had a good look at the property. Yeah. Yep. yep. What are you thinking? Too small. <laughs> Straight in there. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's the thing about needing the space for everything that we want to do with it. Well, even if it was the two of us, I think we'd probably want a bit more space. It's been really helpful to see because it's made me feel like, yes, we definitely need the three bedrooms to give us that. Mm. ability to be flexible with space and make it the home that we want it to be. We want more space. Yeah. Coming up, Donna's smitten with my next property. Gosh, it sounds like it's taking your heart. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, no, it's, it feels good. Today, I'm helping London-based couple Raina Sodi and Donna Carty find a holiday home in Mahaca in southern Spain. Raina is looking to buy a spacious property with a budget of £120,000. There needs to be enough room to accommodate visiting friends and Raina's sister Seema. So far, I've shown Donna and Raina this apartment with spectacular views that was on the market for just over £107,000. The couple love the jaw-dropping sea and mountain vistas but the apartment didn't offer enough space or feel homely. Still, it's the first property they've seen, so they haven't ruled it out. Next, I want to show Raina and Donna a property with three bedrooms that has more of a homely feel. So we're heading up the coast to an area called Vista de Los Angeles. It's currently considered a hotspot, with foreign investors showing interest because it's got great shopping facilities, large characterful properties dating back to the 1970s and a superb beach. Welcome to Vista de Los Angeles. Okay. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds very exciting. <laughs> this area is almost considered the commercial heart of Mahaka Playa. You've got a commercial centre here with supermarkets, bars and restaurants, and then you've also got additional bars and restaurants on the beachfront. Some of them have salsa lessons, and even better news, they're free in the summer. Seema and I do salsa all the time. We're quite good, I think. Yeah. And you're learning. Oh, really good. Oh, I'm yeah. really good. The property I'm going to show you is around five minutes' walk from here. How does that sound? Sounds good. Yeah. The yeah. sea is just there, so, and yeah. again, the mountains are just all around, so yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. 
Prices in Vista de Los Angeles have dropped by 35% since the financial crisis. The majority of properties here consist of attractive villas and townhouses. We found somewhere a few roads back from the promenade that has more than double the living space than the apartment I previously showed Rainer and Donna. So here we are at our second property. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. The flowers are lovely, aren't they? I knew you'd say about the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are, yeah, they are beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, and the neighbourhood just Looks seems great. really quiet and residential, mm -hmm. but lovely as well. This place is a three-bedroom. Great. Okay. Townhouse. Yeah. It's been on the market now for two years. Oh, OK. And gosh. the price has been reduced in the last ten months. Right. Yeah. It was originally priced at £180,000. OK. It's now on the market for £119,000. Oh, great. And Sorry. the agent has advised the owners would be willing to accept an offer of around £111,000. Right. That's really okay. helpful to know. Okay. This end of Terrace Townhouse is one of 12 within a small complex, which is a short walk from the beach. Downstairs has a large open plan living room diner, a good sized fully fitted kitchen, a bedroom and a family bathroom. Upstairs has two further bedrooms, one en suite, but both have doors leading onto a private terrace with a patio that offers plenty of space to entertain visiting friends. There are great views overland consisting of a variety of trees and lush vegetation, and past this space, but out of view, is the sea. The property is on the market for a shade over £119,000, but the agent says it could be bought for less. So straight in then to your living area. It's quite dark. I'm thinking atmospheric. Really? Yes. Sort of rusticy as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. I think what I like though is that you've got this really big lounge area Lovely and space. then the dining room slightly separately, but sort of still all in one, which mm. I think is great. So I think it gives you the space to do the relaxing and the yeah, chilling out, but yeah. also if you had lots of friends around and you wanted to sit around the table, you could do that as well. No, it's a brilliant space. You might be going off yeah. having your margaritas yeah. and you might be going off doing your photography. Yeah, and... yeah exactly. Yeah. And actually, in terms of just this space, I could quite happily sit down here and read or work. Yeah, with Rainer upstairs, on enjoying the light. Yeah. Yes. So the kitchen in the two-bedroom apartment was on the small side. How does this compare size-wise? Yeah, <laughs> it's much, yeah, much better. I love what they've done. The units are great. It's really light. Yeah. And I love the hatch into the yes. dining room. That's fantastic because you can have drinks through there and, you know, chuck a few bits of food through and, you know, yeah. that sort yeah, of stuff. Nice. Step on out to the terrace. Oh, wow. This oh is gosh. fantastic. It's so big. Obviously, it's a beautiful view in terms of green, but it's green and not blue sea. If these trees were down here, the sea is literally okay. just there. Do you think you would be prepared to compromise, Donna, on that view if everything else about the property was great? I think I would, given that we are so close to the sea. Although I'm now thinking <laughs> sea view is quite important because I kind of think if you're by the sea, you might as well have a sea view. Go and have a look at the bedrooms, get a good feel for the property and I'll meet you back out front. Great, great. Thank you. OK. Round round there. And round here is... Oh, wow, it's a door to the patio. Yeah. Great. And a bathroom. Oh, sweet shower room. Excellent. Oh, ah, lovely. So this Ooh. is the second bedroom. And compared to the two-bedroom apartment, so much bigger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, a much better room. And yeah. I suppose thinking about Seema, yeah. whether she'd prefer the room downstairs or this room up here. She might quite like the one downstairs because it's got the attached bathroom, so it means that she's yeah. got that kind of private space. I like it a lot. Mm. Um, it ticks a lot of the boxes. In terms of the home-from-home home thing, this feels great to me. Gosh, it sounds like it's taking your heart. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, no, it's, it feels good. This end of Terrace Townhouse with three bedrooms is on the market for a shade over £119,000. But the agent says it could be bought for less. It's completely wowed Donna, but I'm wondering whether Rainer feels the same way. So, we'll be out with this one now. I love it. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I really love it. I love the living space. I love the fact that it's not super bright, mm -hmm. actually. I really like it. I like the size of the bedrooms. I love the roof terrace. There's still an issue, really, which it surprises me, that I would really love to see the sea. You're Weirdly, we've different. sort of swapped places, haven't we, yeah. that I want the sea. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think this is a house that you might think about showing your sister? Definitely. Yeah. And so it's a contender? Yeah, it's, oh, it's definitely a contender. Yeah.
So we found Raina and Donna a front runner and a property they want to show Raina's sister. But we've still got three more great homes to visit and before I take them to the next one, I had a chat with the couple about Raina's dream of buying a place they can escape to during the British winters. How stressful is, is work and how hard does she find it to switch off? Raina's always worked really hard, I think, and yeah, it was always yeah, very focused on, on jobs that she's got, whatever the job is, puts everything into it. I'm always thinking about work, I'm worrying about work, I'm dreaming about work. For me, I really want for us to spend proper time together rather mm -hmm. than snatch time at the weekends mm -hmm. and because you want to use it as well and you have a job that means that we could, we could do yeah, that we together, yeah. it suddenly feels like, OK, just get on with it now. You've got three people to try and please when it comes to this property. How yeah. hard is that? I think it's always really hard because being the middle child, I've often had to do that balancing everybody else's needs. And in fact, my family call me the solicitor because I'm always negotiating between either my sister and my mum or my sisters. But I think the thing is now we're all adults, so we'll just sit around and chat about it and then decide how we're going to make it work. Coming up, a spacious roof terrace blows Raina and Donna away. Oh, wow, it's huge. And the view is amazing. couple Raina and Donna are looking for a second home here in the beautiful Mahaca area of southern Spain. Raina's got a budget of £120,000 and she's hoping to buy somewhere big enough to accommodate herself, Donna, her sister Seema and visiting friends. So space has become an important factor in this search. Firstly, I showed Donna and Raina this apartment with spectacular views that was on the market for just over £107,000. The couple loved the vistas the apartment offered, but they felt it wasn't homely or large enough. So with this in mind, I took them to this end of terrace townhouse that was on for a shade over £119,000. It had three bedrooms and substantially more living space than the apartment. Donna absolutely loved it, and although Raina preferred it to the apartment, she missed the sea views and felt it was a little dark. However, it's the main contender. But there's plenty of other splendid properties here in Mahaka, and I'm taking Raina and Donna further north to a neighbourhood called Playa La Romina, where they'll find glorious sea views. Raina and Donna prefer a homely feel, and this area is more residential than the previous two we've visited. The main commercial centre has a good selection of restaurants and shops for the couple to choose from, including Mahaka Playa's only canaceria, or butchers. Welcome to Playa La Romina. You've got the cafes, the bars, the restaurants here. The main supermarket in the commercial centre is actually closed on Sundays, but you've got a mini market here with all the essentials, your bread, your milk, that is open on a Sunday, so that could be on your doorstep. That's Great. really good, because you get so spoiled in London with everything being open all the, time. all the time. So you don't even think about, oh, I need a pint of milk and stock up for Sunday. That's great. <laughs> Before the economic downturn, British buyers accounted for 60% of people investing in Playa La Romina. However, since then, that number has fallen to 20%. The trend now is for British buyers to invest in more expensive properties closer to the hustle and bustle of central Mahaka Playa, a 10-minute drive back down the coast. So just a short stroll from the supermarket, and here we are at our third property. Wow, that's impressive. The reason I brought you so this property is because it felt in the last place it was lacking the views. Here you have those sea views. That's a brilliant, gorgeous view. The property's been on the market for six months. British owners have lived here for 10 years and they want to move back to the UK. It was originally priced at £134,000 and recently been reduced to £118,000. OK, good to know. Cool. Yes. Should we get inside? Yeah. This townhouse, split over three floors, has sea views and is set amongst a community of 16 properties. They all have access to a delightful communal pool with a monthly service charge of £40. The property has a front garden that is laid to lawn with a mature palm tree. It's accessed via steps leading up to the ground floor where there's a living room, a family bathroom and a spacious kitchen diner with access to a patio garden perfect for alfresco living. Downstairs in the basement is one double bedroom, a storage room and a garage. On the first floor is another bathroom and a further two great sized bedrooms. One has a Juliet balcony with sea views and the other has a larger balcony, also with views over the Mediterranean. The property is on the market for just under £118,500. 
so. You said you wanted light, bright, airy, Raina. Is this what you imagined? Yeah, this is much lighter and brighter. It's a higher ceiling as well, which gives it a feeling of airiness compared to the last house, because the ceilings were, were lower, weren't they? Yeah, it feels a little more stark, I think. Maybe it's a homeliness thing. For me, the space is less flexible and the width of the lounge is narrower, so it doesn't feel like you could just chill out here. Mm. So, the kitchen then. So this is very light, bright and big, and I like that there's a table in the kitchen so you can yeah. sit and have breakfast, yeah, which yeah. is lovely. So you've got your other bathroom here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Through to one of the bedrooms, not necessarily the biggest, but you have got a balcony out there. Okay, great. And with the balcony again, it makes it very light in here, which is lovely, and you'd get the sun coming through, which is always nice mm. when you're lying in bed to get a bit of sun on your face. Yeah. Go and look at the balcony out there, have a look at the rest of the house, and I'll meet you back out front. Okay, okay, great. Wow, this is actually a great view. You know what we could do? Yeah. <laughs> go on, what? <laughs> is actually make the terrace bigger, okay. go halfway into the bedroom, yeah. and then the bedroom into the bathroom, and then maybe add another bathroom somewhere else or something. Put but an it was, ensuite on the other yeah, bedroom. Yeah, yeah, maybe put an ensuite on the other bedroom. Or if you could build on the roof and actually yeah. have the roof terrace on the roof. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that would, would be amazing. That would really work. Yeah. OK, so this is the pool area. It's nice enough, though, isn't it? It's a nice yeah. area. Yeah, it doesn't really... <laughs> it doesn't make the house any easier. No. There's too much to do, yeah. really. This townhouse with three bedrooms doesn't feel like it's the one for Donna and Rayner. It's on the market for just under £118,500. But despite liking the sea views, it would need too much work to create the ideal outside space they crave. We talked about... Um, potentially doing a roof terrace either on the roof itself or extending the balcony back and turning the bedroom into a smaller bedroom, several things, but yeah. it would just be a massive renovation project. Yeah. What about the area? Do you like the area? I like the area. Yeah, Very good. residential, yeah. lovely houses, again, beautiful plants, yeah. flowers. So would you be happy to see something else quite close to here? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Raina and Donna clearly missed having access to a roof terrace in the previous property, so I'm going to address that with my next one. And we don't have to go far because it's a stone's throw away in the neighbouring area of El Palmoral. Despite being so close, property in this neighbourhood is marginally cheaper. The area has easy access to its own stretch of sandy beach, which would be the perfect place for Donna and Raina to relax. And it's only 100 metres from the next property. So, we're actually just around the corner from the location of our previous property in this area, El Palmaral. There's a great restaurant at the end of the road that has a menu of the day. I've sampled it myself. Three courses for around eight pounds. That's Excellent. perfect. That's that really is. good to know. Shall we go? 70% of the properties in El Palmaral are townhouses, and you can find small two beds set back from the beachfront, starting from as little as 70,000 pounds. It's an area full of good deals to be done because we found a three-bed property with space, views and easy access to the beach that's on for less than £100,000. So, fourth property in an area that you seem to quite like. And here it is. Good. Yeah, looks nice. Looks good. It's on the market, just over £94,000. That's Great. fantastic. Great. That gives lots Given of money to work. do the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Property prices here have fallen significantly and peak of the market this would have cost around £180,000. Mm. I'm going to leave you to look okay. around this property on your own right. and I can't wait to hear what you think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. This mid-terrace townhouse with a useful basement garage has the outdoor space and wonderful views that Rainer and Donna desire. On its doorstep is an impressive communal swimming pool and grounds. These come with a maintenance charge of just over £40 a month. The townhouse has a patio entrance with steps leading to the ground floor where you'll find a spacious lounge diner, fully fitted kitchen and compact bathroom. The three bedrooms are on the first floor. One is single with poor views. There's also a separate double bedroom and a master bedroom with a balcony. Leading off the master bedroom's balcony are stairs to a wonderful roof terrace with impressive sea, mountain and Mahaka Pueblo views. This property is on the market well under budget for just under £94,500. OK. OK. I quite like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's quite light, isn't it? And yeah. kind of big. Feels warm. Feels nice. It does. Yeah. yeah this feels good. Plenty yeah. of space for friends. Yep. Plenty of yep. space for kind of, yeah, eating, drinking and dancing. Yeah, and just dancing. that's really important. Of course, yes. yes. Well, this is a good size. Yeah. It's very, very it's quite spacious. You can have a little table in here as well, just have breakfast if you wanted to, like yeah, they have. Lots of potential. Wow, this is lovely and bright and airy with a balcony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. And that view. Oh my gosh, oh, the great. sea. Yeah. <gasps> you know what you would do is maybe put the bed this way. So you would just, just lie here it. and yeah. look at the sea and never get up. <laughs> This the is view strange, is, fantastic. is fantastic, it is. And there are stairs. Aha! Uh -huh. we go up? <laughs> Let's go up. <laughs> it's a proper roof terrace. Oh, wow. So that's the Pueblo. OK. Which is just beautiful. Yes. And it's huge. We'd have a little bar area, the seating area, <laughs> get Sabrina out here to do all the landscaping. Yeah. And also, it's quite private with the walls. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. There's lots of privacy. This is a great size pool. And I'm not that into pools, but yeah. I could jump in this right now. I could see me paddling my feet. Yes. 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 I could yes. see Seema swimming around. Well, we've certainly delivered with the outside space of this mid-terrace townhouse that has three bedrooms and is on the market well under budget for just under £94,500. But I'm keen to hear what Raina and Donna think of the rest of it. The most amazing thing is the roof terrace. Yeah. The roof terrace is fantastic. The view is amazing all around. Is there a but? couple of things. Yeah. One of the bedrooms is really small. You could probably only get a single bed in there and we really want to have people staying. For me, the access from one of the main bedrooms up onto the roof, you have to go through that bedroom to get onto the roof. So that sort of reduces what we can do with that room. So it sounds like you like it, but there are compromises. Yeah. Quite big ones. I suppose what we need to think about is whether the roof terrace and the view in this property outweigh everything, which mm. means we can make the other things work. What about if I just put this out there? If you spend a bit more money, mm. you might have to make less compromises. Is that something you might be prepared to do? Yeah, so I've been thinking about that, having looked at the three houses and the fourth one now. If I can twiddle things here a bit there, that I would stretch my budget a bit. I think it's a wise move by Raina to look at what they could buy if she upped her budget, because I've got no doubt they'll have to make less compromises. Coming up, my final property really impresses Raina and Donna. Oh, this is fantastic! <laughs> yeah, Today I'm helping busy London-based couple Raina and Donna find a holiday home they can escape to in the beautiful Mahaca area of southern Spain. With a budget of £120,000, Raina's looking to buy a second home where she and Donna can escape the British winters and enjoy an outdoor lifestyle. But Raina's much-loved sister Seema will also use the property and she's flying out at the end of the search because Raina and Donna value her opinion. So far, I've shown Donna and Raina this two-bedroom apartment that was on the market for just over £107,000. It had spectacular views, but the couple felt it didn't offer the space they needed and it wasn't very homely. So I took Raina and Donna to see this three-bed end of Terrace townhouse that Donna fell in love with. It was on for a shade over £119,000 and Raina also preferred it to the apartment, but it lacked sea views and she felt the living room was too dark. However, they've decided to show it to Sister Seema, who is flying out to join them at the end of the house hunt. We then visited this three-bed townhouse on the market for just under £118,500. Raina and Donna loved the views but felt it needed too much renovation work to create the outside space they require. So I took Donna and Raina to see this mid-terrace townhouse with three bedrooms on well under budget for just under £94,500. Despite loving the wonderful roof terrace with jaw-dropping views, access to it via the master bedroom was a compromise too far for the couple. As a result, Raina and Donna have decided to view a place that's on over their £120,000 budget. So we're heading back down the coast, close to the centre of Mahaka Playa, to a place called La Parata. It's a desirable location that rolls up into the surrounding hills. As a result, it has the spectacular sea and mountain views that are so important to Rainer and Donna. Yet, it's still only a 15-minute walk or three-minute drive to the local beach. 
this would be your local beach. How would you feel about coming down here every morning? <laughs> Oh, be oh, rubbish. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. But someone's got to do it. Yeah. Yes. It is a sought-after area. You've got the bars and the restaurants, as you do along this strip. One great thing about this area is you have a bus that takes you into the old town. In low season, so from October to April, it runs every half an hour. Peak season, it runs every 15 minutes, and it costs as little as 95p. That's fantastic. Yeah, excellent. Good. Laparata is a sought-after residential community where the majority of properties are detached villas. It was established in 1975, but was hit hard by the financial crisis when property prices halved. So there's the potential to buy a home in a traditionally desirable area at an affordable price. So here we are, final property. Okay. Looks exciting. exciting. <laughs> what we have here is a three-bedroom detached villa. It does need a little bit of work. This place is on the market just under £143,000. Mm. Been on the market for a couple of years. The agents actually suggested the vendors would be open to negotiation, probably around £135,000. It's sort of possibly doable -y. I Yeah. Shall we head inside? Yeah. This detached villa with its own car parking space is in need of modernisation. Access is via the upper floor, which consists of an open-plan kitchen, lounge, diner, with doors leading to a covered terrace with wonderful sea and mountain views. Here you'll find a spiral staircase that leads to a large roof terrace, a splendid space for entertaining friends and admiring the magnificent vistas. The lower level consists of a family bathroom, shower room and three bedrooms, one en suite. All the bedrooms have access to another large terrace with even more great views as well as a plunge pool for relaxing in. This property is on the market for just under £143,000, but the agent suggests it could be negotiated down closer towards Rainer's £120,000 budget. Come on in, into your open plan living kitchen area. Oh, this is fantastic! <laughs> Yeah, no, this is great. Just this is amazing. Great. And I actually quite like that it goes into the kitchen because it just gives that feeling of openness. The kitchen's a great size as well, it's huge. It's and they've great. got, yeah. so there's white tiles in the kitchen and there's one of them that's a little cocktail glass with green liquid, which I'm taking to be a margarita, so it has to be the right house for us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> so we like the space, we like the open plan kitchen. I was feeling like it was going to be a major renovation project, but so far Ooh. from here, it doesn't feel like it. So down here, you have your bedrooms, all of which have their own access out no. onto the terrace. Oh, wow. So one bedroom there, oh, bathroom. So this way is your master bedroom with ensuite with our own personal roof terrace, Look just for the main bedroom. <laughs> Is Seema going to be fighting yeah. you over which bedroom? Very possibly. Very possibly. How would you change it? What would you do, do you think? Paint, colour, po possibly new tiles, but not necessarily initially. Mm. Stuff on walls. It's not major work. We have your plunge pool. It is slightly green. It's like a serious pool, isn't it? Yeah, you know, in terms yeah. of just sitting, sitting in round, and the tiles yeah. around it are lovely. That looks great. How is that for a, a sea view? <laughs> Out of this world. <laughs> Breathtaking. Go and have a good wonder, and I'll meet you back out front. Thank you. See you in a minute. <laughs> it is so much better yeah. than all the others. And yeah, I mean, looking at the view, I feel. Sort of slightly emotional, I have to say. Yeah, completely overwhelming, really. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. This detached villa with three bedrooms seems to have made the dream a reality. It's on the market for just under £143,000, but the agent suggests it could be bought for less. You're not put off by the work, because I, I felt like when I told you the price initially from the outside of the property, you kind of, your reactions were almost like, oh, OK, the work, yeah. but you're feeling better about that now. Yeah, I think we can live with decor and things like that. We do yeah. all the essentials. As long as there's nothing massively structurally wrong, which would cost a complete fortune, yeah. I think it's just trying to work it out. It feels like we don't have to compromise on anything, really, no. that we wanted. The main, Everything. well, I suppose well, the main money. compromise is money. Why don't we head off and you can go and meet Seema and show her your favourite properties. So Rainer and Donna met up with Rainer's sister Seema and took her to see their two favourite properties. Wow. 
This is big. It's nice, it's really nice space. Yeah. I like yeah. the tiling. It's really beautiful. Mm. Compared to the other one, it's just like so much better. It's like streets ahead. Yeah. Is this your favourite? Yeah. So, it's, it's very be beautiful. Great. I know. I will be here, definitely. Back to our search, and I've shown Raina and Donna five properties in the Mahaka area of southern Spain. Four of those properties were around Raina's budget of £120,000. Having seen the final property, they've ruled out this apartment with views on for just over £107,000 because it lacks space. This end of terrace townhouse on for a shade over £119,000 because Raina felt it was too dark. This three bed townhouse on for just under £118,500 because it needed too much renovation to create a larger terrace. And this mid terrace townhouse on for just under £94,500 because there were too many compromises. Sister Seema agrees with Raina and Donna that the detached villa on over budget for just under £143,000 is the clear favourite. I'm just desperate to find out whether or not it's an affordable proposition. Where are we at with the budget? As you know, that property is on the market just under £143,000. Yeah. We feel so strongly about this property that the next step for us is that we'd really like to make an offer. What would you like to, to offer? We're probably thinking £135,000. Should I give the agent? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Sam, it's Laura calling. Listen Sam, I'm just phoning because I am with Raina, Donna and Seema who viewed the three bedroom detached villa and they would like to put forward an offer of £135,000. Now that is their maximum offer and they are ready to move very quickly. OK, lovely. Thank you very much Sam. Bye bye. So he's going to give the vendor a call and try his best. Okay. <laughs> he didn't sound shocked. Um, okay. So we shall see. Hi Sam, how are you doing? Do we have news? Right. Okay. Bear with me one second. So Sam has spoken to the vendor and he won't take £135,000, but what he will accept is £140,000. Right. Would you like to say that you want to go away and think about things? Yeah, I think we have or... to think about it. Yeah. yeah. We've just discussed things here and we're going to need to have further discussions. Bye. My personal advice and opinion would be to hold out okay. for a bit. Don't rush straight back mm. with an offer of 140. I really do wish you guys the best. Thank you. Thank you. A few hours after our house hunt ended, Raina, Donna and Seema spoke to the agent again. It turned out the agent had actually made the offer to a solicitor appointed by the owner and not the owner himself. I spoke to Rayner for an update. The solicitor said he reckoned the owner would accept an offer of around £138,000. And the solicitor can accept that on his behalf. But he also said you might want to wait while they try and get in touch with the owner and put forward our offer of £135,000. It looks like things could be uh, moving in the right direction very soon. Yeah, yep, we just need to get hold yeah. of that owner. <laughs> yeah. yes. It took three days, but the agent finally got hold of the owner who rejected the £135,000 offer. So Rayner and Donna upped it to £138,000 and it was accepted. They're due to complete on their dream holiday home in a few weeks.